Hi, this is Marco Hansen, and I've got something exciting to share with those of you who are following along on our Become a Texas Court Interpreter Facebook group and want to participate in the contest at the end of this month to uh, learn more court interpreting vocabulary in Spanish. This is a package that came uh, in the mail from Burkana Language Center, LLC, and it's going to be the prize that's given away to the winner at the end of February. I love getting packages in the mail with free stuff. Uh, this was a gift by Etta Trabing, who's um, a leader in the field of training for court interpreters. She's been publishing books for several decades and was involved in the creation of the Federal Court Interpreter uh, Certification Exam. Um, these are worth $50 if you order them online. Introduction to Court Interpreting in the U.S. Um, I'm going to go through the table of contents. It's a 228-page um, book, and it has lots of information that is uh, language neutral, so you don't have to work in Spanish to benefit from this. The table of contents is a brief overview of interpretation in general, court interpreting, role of the judiciary interpreter, interpreter qualifications and talents, Interpretation techniques, modes of interpretation used in judiciary interpreting, listening techniques, on-site translation techniques, consecutive interpretation techniques and protocols, note-taking techniques, processing of words, simultaneous interpretation techniques, code of professional responsibilities for interpreters in the judiciary, ethics exercises, answers to ethics questions. Judiciary interpreters do not only work in criminal courts, but also you as the judiciary interpreter must, the criminal justice system, Law enforcement, the courts, juries, corrections, certification for interpreters in the U.S., additional self-study exercises, oaths or affirmations, bail and bonds, common law versus civil or Roman law, burdens of proof, basic rights of a person charged with a crime, Miranda warning, how a person moves through the criminal justice system, civil lawsuits, procedures for oral depositions, additional listening exercises, suggested additional reading, and then some annexes um, with glossaries and lists in there. So. Um, this isn't the kind of uh, material that um, provides you with uh, practical exercises in improving your simultaneous interpretation, say, but it's a great overview of the career field and what court interpreters need to know. Uh, when you take the uh, certification exams, whatever state or at the federal level that it's for, you have to be familiar with the court system and protocol and duties and the ethical obligations of a court interpreter. So I think this is a pretty great um, prize to whoever wins the contest. If you haven't been following along, the way it works is down in the comments under this video, I'll post links to a Quizlet uh, list of words. Quizlet's an app that you can use on your computer or on your phone. And it has, uh, I think, 163 words in this one of Spanish-English court interpreter vocabulary, useful terms, and they you know, run the range from names for different types of crimes, to things that witnesses might say, to um, phrases heard in the courtroom. And for the rest of February, everybody who wants to play will study that in their own time and try to learn all those words they can. And then at the end of the month, we haven't set the date yet, but there's another website where I can set up an online quiz show. And that's where everybody uh, logs in and on their device or on their computer, uh, they'll see a series of multiple choice questions and they click on the one, for example, it'll, it'll say the word in English and they'll click on the Spanish translation or vice versa. And so you'll be in the privacy of your own home. Um, you can log in under a pseudonym if you want. Um, but at the end of the show or the competition, uh, which will be live streamed, um, whoever got the most right is declared the winner and that person is uh, receives the free book and that's all there is to it. It's just uh, a kind of an experiment to see if we can make the process of studying vocabulary more fun and interactive. And so I hope you'll join us. Thanks.